I mean, we put out a video today of a robot doing a logistics use case. Uh, it's fully end-to-end. -end. It's a single neural network. It's taking camera frames in. It's outputting actions. It's now doing that, basically approaching human speeds, inaccuracies. Can you find me anybody in the world doing this? In this video, which I have seen for transparency with the audience, but it was published today, I don't think we have it or we weren't able to move quick enough on it, but the robot is sorting between um, boxed, cardboard boxed packages and then plastic wrapped packages. It's trying to smooth out the plastic so the barcode shows. This is within one of your facilities, right? Um, but you have a, another customer that you're not naming. Uh, Bloomberg has reported that that customer is UPS. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have, um, so, so we have a second customer we signed uh, in the logistics space, and we are currently working to uh, start like initial deployment uh, there. So um, the, the, the trick here with this is that um, with, with packages, it's really tough. In the, in the case of like logistics work we're doing with small packages, every single package in every single instance of packages coming together is different for the robot every single time. And you cannot solve this with code. You can't solve this with code. code. You can't code your way out of this problem. It's impossible.